Hakeem Hussein died alone, neglected, unwell, and unable to wake his mother. He had an asthma attack. He'd gone outside to try to get some air. His frozen body was found the next morning. His mother, Laura Heath, had been taking heroin. Their flat was filthy, smoky and cold. It made Hakeem's asthma worse. He used to ask his mother to stop taking drugs, but she prioritised her habit over his health. An inhaler that could have helped him, used instead by his mother as a makeshift crack pipe. Jailing Laura Heath for 20 years, the judge told her Hakeem's death here was needless, tragic, and the result of her abject failure as his mother. There are now questions for the authorities too. A serious case review is examining who knew what, and the head of the Birmingham Children's Trust has said that social workers missed clear opportunities to prevent Hakeem's death. He'd had three emergency admissions to hospital and his school had made several safeguarding referrals. Two days before Hakeem died, a school nurse warned a child protection conference that Hakeem could die at the weekend. A family outreach worker from his school voted to take Hakeem immediately into care. The meeting ended with agreement that a social worker would speak to his mother on the Monday but Hakeem was found dead on the Sunday morning. This death of, of Hakeem was preventable. His, um, his treatment for asthma um, should, have been, should have been routine. Uh, so it's important that all those agencies that knew about Hakeem, social services, uh, school, police, uh, this will be subject to a serious case review and everything that was known about Hakeem will form part of that. And it comes out to that, there may be some recommendations for all agencies, but it's important those lessons are, are learned uh, to make sure that there's no other uh, deaths like this. But deaths like Hakeem's keep happening. Logan Mwangi, Star Hobson, Arthur Labinio Hughes, all killed by their parents and failed by the authorities. Arthur's cousin says more must be done. They need to be a reputable service like the police where they'll step in. They need more power. If they have suspicion a child is at risk, they should remove the child. The child can always be returned and apologies can be made. We can't keep losing these children. Hakeem Hussein should still be alive. Instead, he joins a list of children let down by a system that should have kept him safe. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Birmingham.